I'm just relaxing watching TV, Camille. You know, I got this broken arm, so I can't really do much. Yeah, but Dad, stop whining about it. Come and have fun with me outside. I mean, I would love to, but you know, the doctor did say, can't do this, I can't do that. I don't want to hurt it again. I should listen to what the doctor said. You don't have to use that arm. You can use your other one. Come on. Yeah. So I'm going to need you to help him stay away from some bouncy houses. What about trampolines? Nope. You know what? You're right. Screw it. We risk takers, right? Yeah. All right. And you know, what's the worst that could happen? Nothing really. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. All right, Daddy. Ready? For what? Tug of war. Tug of war? Yeah. Of course. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> So much fun. This broken arm ain't holding me back no more. No more. What should we do next? Hmm. <laughs> How about the trampoline? What about the trampolines? Absolutely not. Let's do it. No. Let's go. Let's do Let's it. Go. <laughs> oh. Oh, she's like Callie's here. Yeah, she's probably home from school. Come on. Hey, Callie. <gasps> Baby, what happened to your face? Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> Callie, what happened to you? Come inside. Oh my gosh. Come sit, Callie. Hey, Come Callie. Sit. Oh my gosh. What happened? Yeah, Callie. Why do you have this horrible black eye? Tell us what happened, okay? Who did this to you? All right, Dad. Here's what happened. So this mean girl at school was bullying me. And she... She punched me right in the face. Are you serious? Who would do that to you? Who did this to my sister? What's her name, Callie? But I don't want to get anyone in trouble. I don't want to be a snitch. Callie, that wouldn't even make you a snitch, okay? It's not like that. No one's allowed to beat up my daughter, okay? They need to pay for what they did. They need to be in trouble. They need to be expelled from the school. And I need to talk to their parents. Who would do that to you? You're literally an angel. Let me see it. Oh my gosh. No, this is not okay, Callie. Okay, Dad. Here's her name. Her name is Medina. She bullies everyone. But this time, I actually try to stop her. Medina. That's her name? All right, thanks for telling me. I'm gonna straighten this out, all right? No one does this to my daughter. Camille, for now, go get some ice. Okay. Put a bunch of ice in a plastic bag, okay? Okay. Callie, I'm gonna handle this, okay? Don't worry, I got your back. Come on. Okay. Is this the principal? Yeah, listen. My daughter got punched in the face by one of the students. Yeah. The girl's name is Medina. Yep. Here you go, Callie. Here's your eyes. You should see her black eye. I could call the police for this if I wanted to. This is assault. Okay. Yeah, you guys better figure it out. Yeah. Yeah, call me back. I said, girl, are you okay? Nah, this is not looking too good. I gotta call the doctor. Callie, I'm gonna have a doctor come, okay? This is not good. Hello? Yeah, I need a doctor to my house right away. 
it's an emergency. My daughter came home with the, the worst black eye I've ever seen. I don't even know. Callie, can you see? Kind of. Kind, she can only kind of see. It's looking really bad. Let me see. Callie, look at me. Yeah, her eye's red. It's all black and then her eyeball's red. Yeah, send a doctor right away. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, Callie, the doctor's on the way, okay? I love you so much. You're gonna be okay. Callie, it's gonna be okay. Be oh okay. my gosh. The doctor's almost here, okay? You're gonna be okay, baby. I'm so sorry this happened to you. You're gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Oh, the doorbell. He's the probably here. here. It's gotta be the doctor. Okay, I'll be right back, Callie. You're gonna be okay. You again. Doc, I didn't expect to see you. You uh, need help or I heard somebody has a black eye. Yeah, 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 it's my daughter. Come on, come in. Thanks so much for coming, Doc, I appreciate it. So you've been uh, staying away from physical activities and such? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but, but it's not about me, I'm okay. Let's go see my daughter. Come okay. on, she's over here. All right, she's right over here. Callie, the doctor's here. Hi. All right, so tell me what happened. So. All right, don't, don't, let, let's get right into like fixing it. Don't worry about what happened. Look at her eye. I need you to fix it. Come on, fix it, what are you gonna do? Hold, hold on, Dad, let's, let's hear it from her. Let's hear it from her. A bully punched me at school. You're saying a bully did this? That's what she said. Clearly a bully hit her, but let's get to it. Like, where's your doctor tools? Okay, okay. Don't you have something to help her? This. Look at her eyeball. I've got I this. think she needs let's stitches relax. or something. Okay. Callie. I don't think you're gonna need stitches. C come on, man. Where's your stuff? Okay. You, she needs some okay, help look, right if, now. This if, if I'm gonna help her, if I'm gonna help her, I'm gonna need you to relax and take a breath. <sighs> okay. Okay, it looks pretty bad. Let's take a look at it. Can you look up for me a little bit? Okay. All right, let me go get the tools. Let me go get my kit. We'll handle this right now. All right, we got the first aid kit. Sir, you're gonna need to move out of the way. All right, it's about time, man. It's about time. All right, Kelly, he's gonna fix your eye. Fix a black eye. Bro, what is this? A manual on how to be a doctor? Aren't you a real doctor? How do you not know how to fix her eye? What kind of doctor are you, bro? You see this jacket? I'm the doctor. These yeah, are my great. tools. I can do a better job than you. I can help her. These are my tools. Let's start over. Let bygones be bygones. All right. I'm sorry, doc. It's my daughter, you know, I'm just very protective of her. Let me, uh, let me go fix her up, okay? All right, dog. Okay. <laughs> Come here! Yeah? Come sit with me. Okay. You okay? No. What happened? Oh my gosh. You okay? Yeah. Okay, you should be good to go. We're gonna keep that on there for the next 24 hours. Ice every 30 minutes, and you'll be good to go. Thanks, Doc. And can you do me a favor, Callie? Yeah, sure, what is it? Can you look after that crazy dad of yours? <laughs> I'll try. All right, bye. Bye. Bye, Doc. Bye. Yeah, Janet? Yeah, never send me back to this house. That guy is crazy. Okay, bye. Dad, I love you, but like the way you were treating that doctor, you gotta respect people. You always tell us to respect people, so you gotta do it to the doctor too. Yeah, you're right. 
I was being kind of mean, huh? Mm-hmm. He was just trying to help Callie, and then you kept on interfering, right? Yeah, and then I tried to get his first aid kit, and now look at me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you right, Camaro. So, how do you think I can make it up to him? Um, oh, I know. You can probably bring him back to the house and apologize. Yeah, but that would mean we would have to have, like, another, like, injury or something. That's all right. You want to go play some basketball? Yeah. All right, let's go, bro. Let's go. And the very last ornament. Perfect. Oh, it looks so good this year. Look how beautiful my tree looks. <sighs> it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Oh, hey, Mom. What are you guys doing? Mm, just chilling and waiting for Christmas. Yeah, kind of bored, actually. I know, right? Christmas is in like three or four days. Anyways, I'm so excited. I'm actually about to light my Christmas candle. Perfect. Mmm, smells so good. Callie and Camaro, you guys know not to play with fire, right? Yeah, yeah, we know not to play with fire. Too dangerous. Okay, good. I'll just leave this right here then. All right, guys, I'm gonna continue on with my Christmas decorating, celebrating cheer. See you later. Okay, bye, bye mom. Love, love you too. <laughs> Camaro, she left the lighter. Yeah, I know. I kind of want to play with it. Me too. I love fire. Yeah, it's dangerous, but it's fun. <laughs> okay, let's grab it and go play with it. Um, I don't know. It's kind of a bad idea. Don't worry. I'm a pro. All right, fine. I'm so excited, but I'm a little bit nervous. Mom said to not play with the fire. Yeah, but it's so much fun, and it's hot and dangerous. I got a good idea. I'm gonna go get a water bottle just in case. Oh yeah, it's a good idea. Stay here. Okay. I'm a savage. I'm not waiting for no water. Hmm, I can't find no water. I can't find no water. Whoa. Uh-oh. Callie! Ka Callie, I need the water! Come on, the fire's spreading, Callie! Oh no. Oh no! Come out! There's no water! Oh no, I can't stop. I need to get out of here. Ah! This is Tyler Scott with Breaking News at 6. Late last night in South Miami, a multi-million dollar mansion burned to the ground. Allegedly, two kids were trying to go viral on TikTok. Things took a turn for the worse. The good news is, nobody was harmed. Firefighters came to the rescue and was able to save everyone inside. Police on scene have yet to come. Stay tuned for more information, stories still developing. You guys are okay, but didn't I tell you guys not to play with fire? Now look, we don't have a home anymore. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, mommy. I'm just glad you guys are okay. And thankfully, Kira's not home. And daddy's not home. 
<laughs> you guys can't ever do that again, okay? You hear me? Look yes. at me. You can never do that again, okay? <laughs> How did this happen? Like, I, I know you told me what happened, but like, now we don't have no house. Like, what? How did, how did we let this happen? Honestly, this is just so scary. Like, I was lighting a candle and I asked the kids, I said, you guys know not to play with fire, right? And they both said yes. And then I turn around and two seconds later, the house is burning from the inside everywhere. I just, and the, the house insurance is not covering it because Kelly and Camaro did it on purpose. So they said it's not covered. we got no house. It's about to be Christmas. What are we going to do? We just look at us now. We're, we're homeless. I don't know. I've, I've been thinking about ideas for the last two days, but I've got nothing. we got to think of something. We can't, this can't be our life now. We have nothing, no cards, no, no. No home, no more clothes. How much longer can we last like this? I don't know. Mom and Dad, I'm hungry. And I'm so cold. Where are we gonna stay? Don't you worry, guys. We're gonna figure this out, okay? Yeah. Callie, share the blanket with him. You guys know we always figure it out. But you guys have to know. Like I always tell you, you guys got to listen to us when we talk to you. Why do you think we told you don't play with fire? Don't do things that are dangerous. Look at us now. We don't got no house. We're homeless before Christmas. But you guys know we still love you, okay? We're going to figure it out. Babe, we got to figure it out. We got to think of something. We got to think of something. Let's, 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 let's find our way somewhere to the store. Maybe, maybe we can, I don't know, I don't know. We'll think of something, guys, okay? Just let us think. <sighs> oh, babe, babe, I have an idea. What? Why don't we just sell your Lambo? It's worth like, I don't know, like a quarter, quarter million dollars or something? Like the, we, we, can, we can probably buy a house with that and then just, you know, start from scratch and get some clothes and food and, uh, I don't know. Uh, just that that would be yeah, a good yeah. start. Um, um babe. Yeah, it's a good idea. Come come talk to me over here. Let's let's talk about it, okay? Okay, okay. We'll be right back, guys, okay? Okay. Hey babe, I got something to tell you. What? I never wanted to have to tell you this. The Lambo was rented. I never owned it. It's not even mine, it's just a rental. No way. Yes, I was trying to impress you. I really wanted you to just love me even more. Oh my gosh, you don't have to do this to impress me. Now what are we gonna do? You can't sell it, it's not even mine. Well, Matter of fact, they're probably gonna call me for it any minute. It's not even mine. I've been renting it every week. Just trying to make you happy and now it's all over. We can't even sell How it, How could you lie to me for so long about this? I'm sorry. I feel like I don't know. Like, what are we going to do now? Okay, but listen. We can't worry about that right now. We can't worry about the car. we got to figure another plan, okay? I guess. Look at the kids. They're over there crying. Let's go. Come on. we got to think of something. Come on. <laughs> Hello? Hey, this is Trey Rush. Yeah, speaking. This is him. Are you at your house right now? No. Yeah, I'm not there. The house is gone. It's gone? Uh, so where are you? We're just on a street. By this storage unit. A street? Yeah, we're homeless now. Okay, well, what about the Lambo? I can't pay for it anymore. Well, then I'm gonna come take it back. You have to come for it now? Today? Yes, right now. That's like all I have left. I'm sorry, sir. I don't have a choice. All right, fine. 
I'm gonna text you the address right now. Okay, thanks. Okay, bye. Lambo's gone, babe. We officially have like nothing. No car, no house, nothing. And the kids have been saying they're hungry for a long time now. My wallet got burned in the fire. Do you have anything? This is all I got left. $40, that's it. Let me go buy us like a blanket. It's about to be cold. You and me need a blanket and I'll see what food I can get. Okay? Okay. Don't don't take long, okay? All right. It's gonna be dark before we know it. Okay guys, I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Be safe. Okay, babe. Guys, share it up. Guys, I'm sorry I sold me chips. This is all I could afford, okay? Yeah. I got this blanket, I got this chips, and now I got 20 bucks left, okay? Yeah. All right, babe? Yeah. This, is, this is all we have left. All right. Don't hungry. Babe, I can't believe it's supposed to be our first night sleeping on the street. I'm, I'm so scared. I don't. I'm scared too, but. I don't know how the kids are gonna handle this. I know. I'm scared too, but we gotta stay strong for them. Okay? We gotta stay positive. When, when, when life looks like it's defeating you, you gotta stay strong. You gotta stay positive. That's what we always say. We have to practice what we preach right now. We have to stay strong for our kids. This is just so unbelievable. I just. I just still can't believe this. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna get through this. For now, let's let's see if we can get comfortable and turn these blankets into a bed. And we gotta bunk it down for the night, okay? Yeah. Right, Kelly, come here. Wake up, Kelly. Okay, guys, it's gonna be okay, okay?